My keep on digging uh, print signed by Colin Furs is sitting proudly on the workshop wall now, which is great. Hi, welcome to the workshop. Thanks for stopping by. Today, I want to talk a little bit about a rabbit hole that I've disappeared down for the last couple of weeks, and it all involves one of these. Now, this is my Bofang. People love them or hate them. They're very much Marmite. I really like it, to be honest. Um, and I'm just exploring another use for it. And that is to do with the weather, as Brits love to talk about the weather. But in particular, I want to talk about weather balloons. So this is something I recently found out that every day around the world, weather balloons are being uh, released with a little radio unit, a radio sonde, I think they're called. And it's these units that collect information as the balloon sails into the atmosphere. The balloons eventually uh, pop when they get to a certain altitude and they parachute down. Now, during their journey, they transmit data to do with the weather, to do with temperature, pressure, that sort of thing. And you can actually pick these up, pick these up, up these transmissions using one of these. There are websites, which I'll show you in a minute, of how to track them and know where they're being launched and more importantly, when they're being launched. But also, there's a whole community out there design, uh, 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 with the focus of trying to collect these things. So these obviously parachute down, can land anywhere, which, I get, which is probably the attraction of trying to hunt them down and find them, these little radio units. And uh, you can log that you've received one or, or collected one. And I want to try and track one down. That's my goal. Maybe maybe an aim for, for next year, perhaps, try and track one down. Just keep a close eye on things. And uh, yeah, see if I can't collect one myself. That would be really exciting. Um, I have been, I'm very fortunate to live, it would appear, near one of these launch sites of one of the balloons. And um, I emailed and had a chat and a phone call later and uh, I've been invited in, um, in the near future uh, to, uh, to, to see and meet the team responsible for launching uh, the weather balloons in my area, which I'm really excited about. And they were quite chuffed that um, somebody was inquiring about what they do on a daily basis, because not many people know that this, this uh, activity goes on every morning usually around six or seven o'clock in the morning, sometimes also after midnight as well. But anyway, let's take a look at the website. Okay, so the website I'm using is one called sondhub.org and I'll put the link in the description for you to have a play for yourself. So I've just gone on and as you can see, there has been a, um, a balloon launched um, from Cornwall and it's making its way over this way um, due to the due to the, the the current wind conditions at the minute the icon has a balloon as you can see but when it pops it turns into a parachute so you get an idea of uh, where it is in its overall uh, flight journey as it were it also offers predictions of where it might land which is really useful if um, like me, you're wanting to sort of get out there and start track, tracking one down and and, uh, and collecting one. So you can see where it's come from. It's come from just to the west of Truro by the looks of things um, on the tip of Cornwall there. And you can see it's slowly making its way, as I said, across, uh, across to Bristol by the looks of things. Uh, if you actually click on it, you can uh, get all the information, as you can see uh, on the left hand side, all its information as to as to its current altitude, um, what type of um, transmitter it is. More importantly, the frequency that it's operating on. So in this case, it's operating on a frequency of 403.3 megahertz. And that is what um, uh, I'm going to try and 
tune in on using my uh, Bofang. So yeah, let's give it a go. Okay, so I've tuned the radio to the frequency 403.3 megahertz that was stated on the website, and already we're picking up a pretty strong signal. I estimate it to be about 100 miles away, but due to its high altitude, we've got a clear line of sight, which is why we're picking it up pretty easily, which is awesome. There you go. We successfully managed to listen in on one of the transmissions. I think at the time, as you saw, it was around the, the approach in the Bristol area. And yeah, we could we could pick up the transmission from that balloon. The next step would be to try and decode that information. And that's that's where my rabbit hole gets a little deeper, might take a bit longer. But um, what I, I'm really pleased that I found this this um, this area of the radio hobby. Since gaining my license, I'm learning more and more about um, different uses for radio, and this one certainly does appeal. So stay tuned. Hopefully, I can decode one, and I'm setting myself a challenge for next year to actually track one of these down when they land on their parachute, and uh, and log it as collected. All right. Take care. See you again soon.